Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to show you how to plait cornrow that is really really slim or thin. Alright, so firstly you need to get your part as I have done here and gather your sections. And as you can see what I'm doing here, I don't have much edges but I try my best to start from the absolute edge of my hair. Now all you need to do is just focus on those edges and ensure that you're grabbing the strands in very small sections. Now if your fingernails are very long uh, this may be a bit tricky for you to do so I suggest that your fingernails are um, cut short uh, if you have acrylic nails I don't know how that would work out but that is just my opinion. Now I did the first one there and I'm going to do a few more to let you see. Now I'm making the part there. And I'm ensuring that the parts are really neat which is very important. So you're going to grab your first three sets of hair strands. And you should just take your time, don't rush it. If you have to start over, that's completely okay, just as long as you get it done. And you're gonna focus on the hair strands that you're grabbing, as what I am doing here. Now I'm taking hair, the secret to cornrowing hair in really thin sections is to take very small sets of strands at a time. Now a lot of people like to say that you know it's impossible for them to do but nothing is really impossible since you've gotten the practice and I've been plaiting my hair since the age of 8 especially since my mom always used to plait my hair in these ratchet hairstyles and one day I was just tired of it and I said mom I'm going to get my own hair done and I took a doll and I just went ahead and that is how I can plait my hair this well. Now as you can see, I started one to the side of my head and my hair is thin. I always had thin hair and if your hair is thicker than mine then you would have an advantage to catch these very small strands better than I would catch them. But as I said, it's all about practice. You may not get it the first, the second, or even the third time, but just keep practicing and eventually you'll figure out how you can plait your hair into, or cornrow your hair into really small sec sections. it I'm all done now I hope you enjoy I hoped I should say you enjoyed this tutorial and I have two videos here that you can check out one is how to French braid hair which is a really cute type of braid and the other is how to shingle hair um, as a natural hairstyle and that is like the most affordable natural hairstyle that you can uh, do using gel and so forth so check the videos out before you go and don't leave it out subscribing I'll see you when I see you bye